Hello and welcome to Hossen, uh, the newest continent we released into Planet Side 2. And it's been a long time coming. Uh, two years in the making, uh, and it originally should have seen the light of day in uh, April 2013. Uh, but due to various uh, reasons, it's had to be pushed back. Uh, things such as uh, the change from the hex system over to uh, the lattice map system uh, delayed Hossin originally, and then things such as the um, performance. Uh, updates also pushed it back. Uh, however, it's now finally been released, as I say, uh, into the game. However, it isn't actually finished yet. Uh, it's mostly complete. Obviously, you've got all the core mechanics for the continent in place, all the bases, and the general look and feel of the environment. However, um, Creative Director uh, Higby stated that uh, the continent uh, isn't fully complete, isn't fully bug tested, and that sort of thing. Uh, and if they were to leave it until that work was done, it would take roughly another three months. Instead, they decided to release it now, which kind of fits in with uh, Sony Online Entertainment's current philosophy of allowing players into content early so that they can test it themselves and offer feedback. Obviously, we're seeing this with the early access for uh, Landmark and um, for the upcoming early access to uh, H1Z1. Um, so it's clearly a philosophy that Sony now has uh, with its games, they want players to get involved at an early stage and offer feedback and uh, to kind of help uh, create these things. And that's kind of what they're now doing uh, with Hossin. So we've got everything in place, but really now the thousands of players that play Planet Side 2 can uh, play with the continent and uh, sort of help create it better and uh, make it perfect. Hopefully, this process will speed up uh, the time it takes for the uh, uh, devs to finish uh, this content. So uh, I think that's quite a good thing and it's nice if you get it. Um, you'll see when you load into the map it does say early expedition so they're kind of uh, letting everybody know that this isn't quite perhaps a finished or polished um, part of the product yet. Uh, so Hossin itself is a jungle continent so expect lots of trees, swamps and fog, that sort of thing. Uh, this sets it apart, obviously, from the three existing continents. Indar is predominantly a dry, arid desert continent. Esmir, obviously, is your uh, snow-based continent. And Amrish is sort of, uh, I think, it is sort of a European green hills and uh, rolling landscape. Uh, so that's, uh, say, uh, so it sets it apart. Uh, the continent offers uh, plenty of hiding places, and also with its tall trees, high cliffs and buildings, uh, it's great for light assault. In fact, I would go as far as to say that this continent, in my opinion, is more infantry focused. Uh, that said, I'm sure there's still lots of fun to be had uh, in vehicles and in um, uh, the game's fighter planes. Um, I'm sure good pilots and good tankers will make uh, possibly work for them. The bases so far that I've played uh, show some of the cleverest and best design that I've seen so far inside Planet Side 2. It's been an absolute pleasure to die inside of them. Uh, it's nice to see how the devs have uh, learned as they've progressed uh, through making this game and through updating this game. Uh, if you look at the bases back on Indar and Esmir uh, compared to Amish and Hossin, you can see a definite progression in the quality and refinement of the base design. Um, although a lot of the bases have uh, been changed since game launch and have had uh, new iterations put in place. Indar, are, Indar's bases are still the oldest uh, bases in game, uh, and obviously Amirish, up until uh, the release of Hossin, Amirish bases were the newest bases in game, and so you can definitely see where they've learned. And I think um, that Hossin is probably the most immersive continent in the game. I think the environment itself is really atmospheric in a way that all the other continents aren't. And for me, it's now my favorite continent. Uh, performance wise, uh, however, uh, I've been getting some pretty big uh, FPS drops. My frame rate's been crashing down and then spiking back up. It's, it's been crazy, it's been a very large fight on launch night. Um, and my FPS uh, was down at like 20 frames per second. And then the next minute I'm, I'm a bit in the clear a bit more up and it's gone like to 80 plus so um, I don't know if that's um, related directly to Hossin itself um, it's possible since the content isn't fully finished that it hasn't been fully optimised yet 
so there might be these uh, spots and areas where uh, we do get these um, drops and spikes in frame rate um, but equally it could be the entire game itself um, or another unrelated problem it's hard to say, hopefully it will be worked out in the future and I'm sure if crossing isn't yet optimised uh, it will be in the future uh, so that's the continent out of the way uh, this update also gave us uh, constant locking uh, constant locking uh, is basically a system whereby a faction can lock out of use one of the continents uh, so uh, if a faction holds 94% of the territory or wins a territory control of it that continent becomes theirs all of the factions are kicked off the continent and it is locked from use. Uh, this means that that continent is basically out of play. Uh, only two continents can be locked at any one time. Uh, and if a third continent is locked, then the continent that's already locked and has been locked for the longest period of time is automatically unlocked. Uh, I really like this system. Its uh, main focus is on concentrating uh, the player base onto two continents uh, which means that more players will be in one place at once so we should see some of the larger battles um, that have sometimes I think lacking in this game of late and that I think this game is actually all about this game is meant to be about the large scale uh, so that's good uh, it also gives a little bit more depth to the whole game experience because now we have something to fight over something a bit more to care about uh, so all in all this has been a, a pretty major update to the game, probably the biggest one so far this year and probably the biggest content update we've seen in a long time. Um, obviously we've had big updates with things like the uh, performance updates for the game but in terms of content I think this is the largest addition to the game we've seen in a while which is uh, great to see. Uh, so all in all I think it's been a great update and it gets a big 8 thumbs up from me.